Hello, everyonelings. How the devil are you? I'm um, at a a place, a new place. I found a new place. Um, my last camp was in a new place, and it was quite a successful one. It makes you a little bit anxious about being in a different, a new place. But um, this one was uh, a success, and it's given me that little bit of confidence to try and find somewhere else. Um, ah. Big fly, B, whatever that was, attacked. So, um, I decided to try and condense looking at the location. So, normally I would go there, perhaps on a different day, have a look around, think, hmm, this might work, and then, well, I've decided to do it in one go because I've got today off work. I've uh, got accumulated some holidays, um, didn't need them for anything particular. So, I decided to take one off today, and I've got the whole day. So, I've come up here in the morning. And I'm going to, while I'm here, spec the area out, spend some time here in the van, chilling, looking at the view, assessing what's going on. Maybe I go for a couple more walks to look around and see the activity levels. Um, and if I like it, I might camp tonight. Not a definite, but I might do. Uh, it, it, you know, it all depends on how what how I feel, what what sense I'm getting of the area. Um, it's a lovely day, it's, uh, it's autumn, but it's still a lovely day. Um, seems to be a lot of people here, but uh, when, the, when the evening comes, that may change. We'll just have to see. It's actually a gorgeous day. You can hear people coming, dog walkers, a lot of them. Just got out. Where's the van? It's the van. Uh, as you can see, I haven't gone far. In an ideal world, I won't go far from the van um, because no other reason than well, I guess just what's, what's the point? What's the point of going further than the van? Too, uh, too far away from the van. I'm just looking to plop myself in a lovely environment and I couldn't care less. Oh, horse poo. I couldn't care less um, how far away from the van that was. I'm just trying to put myself in a nice environment. I'm just doubling back because I did not want to try and get over that mountain of horse poo. Um, so I'm just gonna circumvent it. Look at that. Lovely. I mean, the problem I have here um, and this might give away where I am, but there's um, lots of horses that are allowed to roam free. Um, and uh, the job with that is obviously they can they can happen upon you in the night. I've been told, according to the signs, they're quite timid and don't like people anyway. But when you're in your bed at night, it's just a tent in it, it's, you can't see people. So, that's a concern I have. And I'm going uphill. I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, sign up for that one. Going up a really super steep hill. Presumably I'm going to be doing that with a backpack. The view is incredible. Look at the top of the... Now I'm at the top of the hill. Look at that. Let's 
there's certainly no end of place to camp. But one thing I have noticed that it's all nothing's flat, <laughs> it's all hills. Which is not not ideal. Well it's not possible, not that steep. Ah oh, you see umpteen signs saying no fires, no this, no that. Interestingly enough, none of them say no camping, but no fires, no barbecues, no litter, no this, no that. And I've walked two centimetres from the car, the van, and all that. Found myself a big old fire pit. They couldn't even be bothered to walk far from the car park, they just plopped themselves here. So, you know, I pick up litter whenever I find it. Because I do this because I love the country. I love nature. I love, and that is a beautiful view. But I don't destroy it. That's gorgeous, isn't it? I don't destroy it. I don't ruin it. I don't leave a place because I love it. You know, I do it because I love it and I, I look after what, what I see of it because I love it. And uh, other people come along and, and ruin it and there's horses everywhere. I don't want to be eaten in the night. There's more over there. I don't know, the sun's out, so I can't see my screen. So I don't know if I'm pointing in the right direction. Or well, because they're quite far away, I don't know if you can see that. As I said, they're supposed to be quite timid, but... So I ain't getting too close. You know, bang on about how much I love nature. I'm not. I'm not much of an animal fan. I've got to be honest. I don't. I'm not wowing over the horses. But I'm wowing over that absolutely amazing view. It's beautiful. All the colours, the browns and the greens, and the... it flattens out down the bottom there. If you can get through all the poop. This is certainly a generous supply of poop. It's kind of a dodgy path here. I say dodgy because it looks like it kind of doesn't, it ends at a, a hill or something. see horse hoofs, so I think horses come down here wildly or on someone. I'm hot now, I've got this really thin top on. You see, I was going to, I have a piece of new for this evening. If I, if I do a tent camp, I have a <laughs> piece of new. And um, it's a, um, I don't want to call it a tarp, it was called a shelter. It's a, it's a tarp, it's a square, a square piece of material, camouflage. And I was going to, because the weather just recently has been absolutely awful. I mean, look at this mud. I don't know if you can see it, in, but all the paths that have been created of muddy and the ground's really soft and because it's rained and rained and rained and rained and rained and rained. So I bought this shelter. I've never had a shelter before. I bought this shelter and I thought I'll put the shelter up so I can sit outside. Because you know, when it rains, you've got to get in the tent and I, I, I like to be outside. I only usually get in the tent to, to you know, go to bed. And uh, I want to be outside. 
so I bought this shelter and look at it it's it's it, it's boiling hot it feels like summer it's autumn like bright sun and it's boiling hot absolutely boiling hot um so I feel I'll be put, I don't, you see, I don't bother with shelters and stuff like that because I like to get us set up as quick as possible and then, and then I'm done and I can sit down and enjoy everything. Oh, this is really steep. I'm going to really kill myself getting back up here, aren't I? Um, so, uh, so yeah, so I bought this tarp sort of almost begrudgingly because I wanted to have a shelter so I could sit outside in the rain. And I've come here and it's like this, it's like summer. It's literally even temperature wise, it's like summer. The temperature has dropped over the last few days and it's pumped right back up again. There's so much horse poo here. If I do camp here, I'm have to, I, my concern is the horses. I've just come across some people. Are you talking to? I think I'd have to come back here later. Because I thought I found a really good area. And I probably have. But I've already come across quite a few people just sitting there staring at me thinking, what's he who's he talking to? So I've turned around and I've come back again. So I'm gonna head back up the hill, back to the van, and come back a bit later. Because that did look a viable area. Except there's people there. They must have heard me coming and going. Chatting away. And then looked at me and I'm just standing there on my own. I presume they knew I was talking to the camera. But that looks like a, and she's actually, she's staring at me. She's gone behind the tree now, I was gonna show you. She's come out behind the tree to watch me leave. It's like, who is this guy? I think I'm going the wrong way. So, I'll, uh, I'm gonna leave it here for the moment. I found an area that might be viable, but there's people there, so, I can't really talk to you guys about camping in an area I'm not supposed to be camping in while there's people there watching me. Not so bothered about them watching me talk. It's more about, I don't want to divulge my plans. Right, so I head back to the van and just chill there for a bit. So I'm back in the van. I'm just gonna chill for a bit. Wait till um, later. Uh, there's a horse there. I haven't got my glasses. I can't see what you're looking at. And my glasses are steamed up. You see that? I don't know if you can see that. There's a horse there anyway. There's, there's millions of horses. I'm not sure how viable this is going to be because it's just. It's just like I went up to the top of that hill, walked around a bit, and there was just horses, horses, as far as the eye can see. Um, it's just too many of them. And if I set up camp, they're almost definitely going to start looking at me, tent, and potentially tripping on the guy lines or treading on all over the tent. Or... I don't know nothing about horses to know if they would look at it and go, oh. Not sure what that is, I'm staying away from that. Or they'd go, what the hell's that? I mean, it says that they're sort of nervous of people, but they won't see a peep a pe they won't see a people, they'll see a tent. So I'm a little unsure about this. You can see the views are gorgeous, but I'm a little unsure of the um the viability of putting up a tent here. So I'm just gonna chill anyway. I'm just gonna chill for a few hours and let the sun go down 
a bit well a lot of many hours uh, because that alone is is great fun i've got a beautiful view um so that alone is great fun <laughs> make me laugh there's um a couple of people have pulled up next to me He's, he, I think he's got a YouTube channel because they're filming. If I had to guess, I'd say it was a YouTube channel and it's about performance cars or something. And he, he's talking now. He said, you might be wondering why I'm testing a car that's six years old. He said it about 150 times. He keeps saying, you might be, might be wondering why. Huh? I was like, oh, I'm, you might be wrong. And he said it about 150 times. I've got to be quiet because it's only over there. Uh, but he, they've, they've been here about... Well, not he's, they've been here a lot longer. They started filming about 15 minutes ago. And he must have said, you might be wondering why, about 50,000 times. He keeps saying, oh, I keep making, messing that up. The guy who's filming him keeps saying, hang on a minute, we can't do that. And, the, and they've had so many takes, it's unbelievable. It must have taken them about five hours to do a, a video. And I want to have a look at them, but we're quite close. They might even hear what I'm saying, I don't know. So you, you heard it here first. Um, exclusive. Looks like some sort of performance car channel. But the funny thing is, he's talking to his mate going, yeah, right, well, as soon as the camera rolls, he goes, ooh, he has this sort of weird presenter tone. He sort of goes, you might be one as boy. But when he's talking normally, he's just talking normally. But when he puts on his presenter voice, it's all... Excuse the wobbliness, that's the car there. They're showcasing, so I've got a cup of, a cup of tea on the go. Hence the um, That's the car they're showcasing. Um, and I don't know if you saw the guy there as well, because I'm just holding the camera out. Or oh, I'm not looking, I'm just holding it between the crack of the, the vandal. So that's the guy, and that's the car. So if you're into car channels, you, you might see them. I suspect my video is going to be out before them because I think they're going to take six weeks to make one episode the way they've been going and uh, I don't know what they do now but they've been standing around for ages yeah they're professional as you see so they, they, don't, they, don't, they don't do things like me without a script and just go oh, and, and who cares if it doesn't sound perfect and grammatically correct they do things properly properly um, you know, proper production, he's got an expensive camera and, and they've both got really expensive cars so he's obviously making a mint off of it not including one they're showcasing he turned up in another um, so um, they're obviously making a mint and um, but I just thought I'd show you because I'd be thinking it's hilarious for me to show you what they're doing before they show you <laughs> if, I mean that only really works I guess if you've got this channel and the other channel, their channel as well, so I don't know, just all seems a bit small world funny, Quite funny laughing my head off that they have a channel, just odd funny that we're both sat next to each other doing our own videos and and they take six hours to do theirs. I wonder if I should um, put on a because my, my channel, I like to sort of talk like I'm talking to a mate. So if I mess it up, that's what happens. When you're out with your mate, you can't take back what you said to them. You say something and you mess your words up. And 
stumble over yourself um, sentence wise you stumble over yourself and you don't sort of say to your mate I'll oh, forget what I just said there erase that let's start again you you so I can say it properly you mess up and, you, you, and that's how I so how I do it so I don't have a, a script or, or, or sit beforehand and think well, what am I going to say I just as I would with a friend I just took the only difference is I'm pressing record before I say something um, but other than that um, it's exactly the same as being out with a friend because that's how I see you guys as friends so that's how I treat the channel um, so I just say things as it comes to me as you would when you're out because when you're out you don't think ahead what well, I need what am I going to say to my friend today I'm gonna say, you know you just well and that's how I do it so um, it seems funny because theirs is different I guess they're, they're presenting a car and showing you it's probably it's performance and specs and all that. so maybe it's different but um, it's just funny listening to the professionals do it maybe I should do that hello runnings I'm out outside this camp spot I'm going to set up my tent now <laughs> As you might guess, I've decided not to camp. I'm camping in the camper van. So basically, I lost my bottle. It didn't feel right. I feel the horses. And at the time, all the activity is completely dead now. There's nobody around at all. But it's so quiet, it makes me want to keep my voice down because it's so so quiet um, so maybe with hindsight I could have camped but at the time I kind of didn't feel right and I won't camp or do anything if it doesn't feel right if it's something in my gut that says no because then I won't enjoy it and I probably wouldn't sleep but I'm I feel fairly safe in the van, so I've stayed here and I'm just going to van camp. Got uh, my lovely, uh, lovely van. Good morning. Um, I forgot to say goodnight last night because um, I don't know, I just uh, plum forgot. So um, it's quite early in the morning because I've got to get off. Um, yeah, I uh, it's freezing this morning. Luckily, I've got a little uh, gas heater that uh, keeps me toasty warm. Um, but yeah, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to camp in the end. Uh, I've come here to do the um, the tent camp. I didn't camp in the end. I ended up uh, just staying in the van just something didn't feel right about it so but having spent all night here and there being not a single soul here last night after about I don't know six seven o'clock maybe there's not a soul here and then still like that this morning um, people isn't the issue let's get it's just boosted my confidence a smidge people isn't the issue but um, it was the horses but you know, I don't see any horses now that was my only concern. I know nothing about horses and I don't know if they were going to sort of trample the tent. Um, so I've still got that to battle with, but other than that, it's given me a slightly more confidence to uh, 
to perhaps camp in the future, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, if, even even though I didn't do that, I still had a lovely ca um, van camp, so I really enjoyed that. Um, it's good to have that backup to be able to sort of pull up somewhere and say, oh, should I camp? You know, you don't necessarily always have to, um, you don't have to um, spec things out beforehand if you got the van because then you just like i just did i, I spec it out didn't feel right or if it doesn't work out or whatever and then um and then you go well I'll just stay in the van then so you haven't sort of wasted the day um i didn't give you a 360 but um there wasn't really much to 360 from this point um it's a lovely it's a lovely view i mean it's a gorgeous thing to be staring at um so it was a lovely environment i plopped myself in but um, yeah, I just wasn't, didn't, didn't feel right. Um, and I've got to go with my gut at the end of the day because if I don't, if I force myself to do something I don't want to do, then even if my reasons are quite weak, then I'm still not going to enjoy it. So, but I did enjoy the van camp, so that was good. So um, I'll, uh, I'll um, make another attempt at, at trying to do a, a tent camp and uh, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.